America, just three years away now from its 250th anniversary, July 4th, 2026. The national festivities they officially kicked off for the big celebration today in Milwaukee. Our Jason Calvi joins us live with the role that you could play starting now. Hey, Steph, well, you think, if you think this party is big tonight, just wait until 2026 when the nation celebrates its 250th birthday. The U.S. Congress set up a commission to organize the festivities, and that work began today in Milwaukee. America's 250th Independence Day will ring out in 2026. The United States semi-quincentennial. Have you ever heard of the word semi-quincentennial? No, that's new. And it's a new word for this reporter too. The semi, the semi quincentennial is on this by semi, whatever it's called. <laughs> Congress set up the United States Semi Quincentennial Commission to plan the celebration in a divided America. We're bipartisan. In fact, I say we're all partisan. In fact, I say we're nonpartisan. Chair Rosie Rios makes her first pitch to the entire country right here at American Family Field before a Brewers game. What do you hope for the future of our country? They invite you to share stories of your American history and your dreams for tomorrow. This is a rare milestone, one that affords us the opportunity to pause and reflect on our nation's past. Part of reflecting on the past might be the bicentennial in 1976 when America celebrated 200 years since the Declaration of Independence. Everyone was happy and joyous and having a good time. It was similar to like it is now. A lot has changed since the 1970s for Air Force veteran Lawrence Fox. He didn't go to Vietnam, but served during that war. When I came back, I wouldn't wear my uniform in a lot of places because it was unacceptable. The people wouldn't like it. They'd spit on you. And now he's celebrated as a hero driving in the Shorewood 4th of July parade. It's an important thing because we get a lot of thank yous, which we should have got before. He says his hopes for the 250th is celebrating veterans and... I don't know what else except a hell of a 4th of July. <laughs> Now, the National Commission launched the website where you can share your story, your vision for the future of America. You can share poems, photos, videos, recipes, you name it, you can share it. To find out how to do that, go to our website, fox6now.com. We're live in Milwaukee with a lot of fireworks now going off behind me. Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. We can hear them there in your live shot. We can hear them here at the Brown Deer Studios where we are. First of all... Thank you to the veteran there in your story from all of us here at Fox 6. But I also have to ask Jason, why Milwaukee? I mean, this is such a huge anniversary. They have a national commission that's kicking off this whole thing in three, you know, in three years when the birthday celebration really begins. Why choose our city? So the chairwoman, uh, Rios there, she said the reason why they picked Milwaukee was it was really in the heartbeat, the heartland of the country. They wanted to really emphasize the fact that this was a celebration for the entire country. So they came to the Midwest, to the heartland. And she also said they came to the baseball stadium, American Family Field, to the Brewers versus Cubs game, because what's America's pastime? Well, baseball. Without a doubt. Well said. All right. I mean, I, I'm not complaining at all. Ha happy and welcoming to them, you know, welcoming them with open arms. But uh, just how to ask. Interesting. Love it. Thanks, Jason. <laughs>